you coming on today. Um, I've kind of gotten a lot of requests to kind of refocus everyone on social media. Uh, a lot of times each week I'm doing webinars on very, very specific things I want you to accomplish. And today is going to be more of an overview, more of a let's kind of a strategy session where we can kind of lay out on the table what type of strategy we should be implementing for our agency. And um, of course, I'm recording this webinar, so if you want to go back and watch it again, uh, it's always available. Just email me; I'll send you, you know, a private link to it. Um, but uh, I think that's always good. So, what I want to discuss today is I, I want to kind of discuss our personal feelings. Uh, we'll go through that in a few minutes. Um, we're going to talk about really the basics of social media, which is talking to people. And I always find that kind of funny because all of you guys are salesmen, and you're all you know, you're all all-stars at talking to people. But on the flip side, social media is a little different. It's a little, it's a different way of talking to people. And we're going to talk about the two keys to success. We're going to talk about, you know, growing our distribution, getting people to actually influence. And we're going to be talking about how do we strategically release information to these people. Um, so I think it's important you guys understand that I just went to the annual NAHU convention um, and I got some of these statistics there, so that's why I mention it. From what I'm told, at this point, 75% of all independent agents and agencies are trying to use social media. They've set up some form of account. So I always kind of find it funny when agents will call me and they'll say, hey, you know, do you think anyone's using this? And it's, well, like, well, yeah, you know, three out of four people are. So that doesn't mean they're being successful, but they're trying to use it. And, you know, the one thing I always try to explain to you is just because you get set up with social media, the only thing it guarantees you is you're entitled to nothing, um, you know, because, and you're entitled to a lot of time investment because the reality is, is it's not something that's simple. Um, to me, the best correlation I can give you is social media is kind of like a fitness program. And, you know, and again, I'm an avid jogger. I, I'm kind of always working out and you know I used to be you know 20 years ago a bit overweight and uh, you know struggled to be in good shape even though I was always athletic long story short without wasting your time guys it took me quite a few months to get in shape it wasn't like I went jogging one day and the next day I was a new person it took a commitment it took a day by day kind of mentality and the way I look at social media I look at it exactly the same you know and why the reason I say that is I find that a lot of people will try it for three or four days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, and they kind of look in the mirror and say, I haven't gotten any results. This is valueless. Well, it's the same as working out. You know, you go to the gym for a week or two, and you're out of shape. In a week or two, you're not going to be in good shape. You're going to be probably sore, if anything. So it's the same kind of correlation, and you have to have the same attitude towards success. You know, it's about consistency, it's about being creative, and really at the end of the day, and I find this really the hardest thing for all agencies, it's about convincing people your agency is better than the guy down the street. That's the main goal. And like I said, it's a marathon. It's not about making online sales, um, but it's really about planting seeds, and it's about talking to people. And, you know, all, like I said, all of you guys are all stars when it comes to selling. And at the end of the day, you've been successful in life because you are able to talk to people, analyze their situation, offer them a solution to them that makes sense. Social media is a little different. It's not really that one-on-one -on -one analyzation. It's really, and I call it, planting seeds. What we're trying to do is, is we're trying to get our agency in front of as many people each day. And I always call it the numbers game. You know, the insurance industry is always about the numbers. And when we think about it logically, nobody buys insurance impulsively. It's not like a candy bar. It's not like you're standing at the, the, in the grocery store online and you say, oh, that Snickers looks good, I'm going to buy it. We all know insurance doesn't work like that. Something usually happens to, to the person that makes them say, oh man, I got no choice, I got to get insurance. Whether they're starting a new company, buying a house, buying a car, having a kid, someone dies, these life events turn them from I don't want insurance into buyers. So my philosophy is, is that social media 
is where everyone is going and socializing. They're gossiping. They're talking to their friends. They're talking to their family. What are they talking about? They're talking about things happening in their lives. And what I just said two seconds ago was is people buy insurance when life events occur. So to me, social media is perfect for our industry because it's a lot of people talking about their lives. So your strategy and your philosophy has to be, okay, one, we need to set up these pages. So again, you want to have a Facebook page for your agency, you want to have a LinkedIn page, you want to have a Twitter page, okay? And really what you want to do is you want to get as many of your clients as possible to go to these pages and to connect with you. That then means they become your distribution. So when you actually write something, when you write a thought, an idea, you put a picture on there, it goes to your clients. They see it on their social media presence. And again, the number one reason we want to use social media is because it is a proven fact that hundreds of millions of Americans go on it every day. To them, it's important. To them, it's fascinating. They're reading about other people's gossip. They're reading about all this stuff. Yeah, I understand that may not have anything to do with you making money, but in a way, it does. Because what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to get on these people's subconscious. You're going to try to relate to these people and try to project yourself to be a specialist and an expert in the things that you do so that when they have a life event, you've touched them every day for a year and they go, yeah, Bob's insurance. Those guys do life insurance. I see them all the time. Let me go take a look at their website. Next thing you know, they're looking at your professional site. They're giving you a call. Or a friend or family is referring you, you know, obviously out to them. So, again, my point is, is it's a bigger picture here, guys. It's not about immediate online sales and results like that. It's really about creating what I call a distribution. Getting your, you start with your clients. You get your clients to connect to you. You then you want to be posting on a consistent basis, day after day after day after day, because we're trying to touch those clients. And we're trying to get those clients to what's called interact with our posts, to comment on our posts, to like our posts. So then our posts go out to their friends and family, which is called viral marketing. So that being said, the number one kind of complaint I get, and I, it's amazing how every day I get someone calling me up telling me this, and they say, Ken, I can't stand how other people use social media. It's gotten me so angry, Ken, that I don't even go on it because it's ridiculous. I don't care if people are having coffee. I don't care if people are going swimming. I don't care about any of that stuff, Ken. I want to make money. And it's funny because I was that guy. I was that guy in probably 2007. I could not stand Facebook and LinkedIn. I, honestly, today, I still, I still don't stand. I really don't like it. It really creeps me out. But on the flip side, I kind of changed the way I looked at it. I said, wait a minute. Yeah, I know a lot of dumb stuff gets said on here, but I can't take any of that stuff personally. And, and I can't get too involved with it. And I can't sit there and read it because it wastes my time. But I'm an entrepreneur. My job is to make money. And it seems like a lot of people that are going on these things, they're really into it. I mean, they're really into the fact that they need their coffee at 7 a.m. and they want to type it every day. So how do I use that to my advantage? Well, the way we use that to our advantage is, is we know that person is going on reading and typing stuff. So we know that there's a really high percentage chance they're going to read what we release to them. And that's the whole point. Once you start to understand, hey, it's not really about what these other people are saying, it's, it's about taking advantage of these people who are zealots, who love it. They're on it every day. They're on their phone. They're on it everywhere. We need to take advantage of those people and get our brand, get our agency in front of those people because just like I said five minutes ago, it's about the numbers. It's about getting in front of as many people as we can on a consistent basis because the insurance industry history has told us that eventually a life event will happen to these people where they're going to need insurance. and They're not going to have a choice. And who are they going to go to? They're going to go to the person that touched them last. Um, so like I said before, start with your clients. Send out emails to your clients. Have your staff trained so every time they're talking to your clients, they're telling them, look, go to our website, go to our social media presence, you know, join with us. We're offering insurance insight on things going on. 
our social media presence is, I think the best way to look at it is, is if you can tell your clients, hey, look, we are investing in the future. We're investing in our agency. We use social media because we're innovative compared to our competitors. And we're going to use it to keep you up to date on things going on. As most of you guys know, and I know there's a few of you on here, with Hurricane Sandy last fall, quite a few of you guys lost power for weeks. But you had your smartphone and you had social media. And the, the agencies that were smart and had all their clients connected to them who also lost power but had their smartphones were able to use social media to keep these clients in the loop on how to file claims, on how to do things. And, you know, I, and I, I should really post some of these stories about this, but there's quite a few agencies that even though Hurricane Sandy was a terrible, terrible thing, they made out pretty good after it because they looked like heroes using social media to keep all their clients up to date, and they got a lot of referrals because of that. And I mean, that's just a great example. Even though it was a horrible situation that I was right in the middle of myself, the agencies that were prepared, the agencies that had the distribution and understood and had a game plan were the ones that were able to communicate to their clients in their most desperate hour. And that's the difference between a great agency and an average agency. So you want to do that. You want to reach out to your clients. You guys want to be posting on a consistent basis. I always try to say that there are good times to post. You know, you have to think logically. You want to post when people are most likely paying attention, when they're on the computer fooling around. You want to post with eye-catching pictures and graphics. Um, and you want to keep your posting balanced. Uh, again, that's the difference between an expert and a beginner. The beginner solicits. All he does is solicit, solicit, solicit. The expert, he has a balanced attack. He's posting about the agency. He kind of promotes the agency. He projects to be an expert. and he also kind of shows that common touch by posting things that people are interested in, that things that are on people's minds. Those are the, you know, that's the key. You know, I always try to say that when in doubt with social media, use common sense. Do not think like a salesman. Think like an entrepreneur. You know, and if you can do that on a day-to-day -day consistent basis, you're going to be better than 95% of the other insurance agencies because they have no idea what they're doing. I see it every day. Trust me, guys, they have no idea. So that's the key. It's about kind of thinking about what you're doing. And you know, for those of you that are still kind of like, well, I'm not really sure how it all works, it's almost irrelevant. The only thing that's relevant is, is there are millions of people that go on these websites every day and they read, right? So think of it logically. If you could get your, an article about your agency on the front page of the New York Times back in 1985 when everyone read it or the Wall Street Journal, you would do that, right? Wouldn't it make sense to put an article about your agency on the front page of the Wall Street Journal if it was free? It's a similar concept. That's all social media is. It's people reading what you're writing. And it gives you, it's a high percentage chance that they're going to read it. And if you can get these people what's called interacting and liking and sharing and commenting on what you're writing, then what you write goes to the people they're connected to. It becomes viral. It can turn into a snowball of just people being exposed to your agency. That's all it is. Again, I was right there with you back in 2007. Once I understood that snowball effect, it made it a lot, it made it a lot more fun. Let's put it that way, because I understood how to get in front of people, and it was free. And I was, and I think the other key is I was disciplined enough to use it and be time conscious of how I used it. And that's, you know, that's kind of the next level. So, what, like I said, I'm going to put this on YouTube right now.